This is Gina from Wolfpack Digital, and today I'll be showing you how to create an auto resizing text view inside of a UI table view by using Swift and Auto Layout. We will begin by creating a new project and name it simply Magic Text. All right. Since you are interested in uh, table views, we are going to use the table view controller. Okay, and we are going to set it up as the initial view controller. Okay, and we are going to add some cells here and make the table view inside use static cells. And we can also give it a row height of 60 so that we can fit in our text view. I'm going to choose the second row for that. Okay, make the text view take up as much space as possible. And then by using auto layout, add some constraints so that it sticks to the margins. For demonstration purposes, we're going to set up the background to something that gives more contrast so that we can see the resizing properly. Okay, and now what we need to do is also use a class for this beautiful UI table view controller. I think I'm going to name it simply table view controller and set it up in the storyboard as well. All right, and now we need to write some, uh, some code. So first we need to set up the estimated row height, we're going to set it up to 60, and then we need to set up pam pam. The actual row height, this is where the magic happens, which is UI table view automatic dimension, and we need to override one more method. It's going to be height for row at index path for the table view, and we're going to say that for the index we're interested in. In our case, it equals one because we're on the second row. Um, we are going to make it return UI table view automatic dimension. Whereas for all other situations, it's going to return super dot table view high forward index path. Yes. Okay. Let's see if it works. Okay, it's not working and the reason is very simple. There's a very important trick to this method and that is the fact that the UI text view need not be scrollable. So we need to disable scrolling enabled in the attribute inspector. Let's run it again. Perfect. So it's working. Now let's make this editable. So let's make it um, change its height according to the text inside, because right now it's not doing that. In order to do this, we actually need to um, follow what's happening inside of the text view. So we need to set up the table view controller as the delegate for the text view. And we're going to do this easily from the storyboard and then inside of the viewcontroller.swift class. All right, and we only need to override a very small method. Uh, actually, no, we need, sorry, to implement the text view delegate method, which is text view did change. And here, there are only two lines of code we need, and that is table view, begin updates, and table view end updates so that with each change happening in the text view, the table view also knows that it needs to update itself. So let's run it again and see if it works.
Okay, you can see it beautifully, beautifully growing and then shrinking back accordingly when we delete some of the text. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching and um, happy coding.